What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and today I'm going to try to get over uh, 1800 rating. Um, right now I'm number 7 on the ladder, so hopefully I can launch myself to uh, compete for the top uh, like I used to. And let's see. So, what should we play? Um, I updated almost all of my decks to Echoes Scrolls version, so you can go check on Scrollger. Uh, my profile for all those. Um, let's see, the last Frank Bench video I played Late Game Order. Then I played. The one before that I played Ag Growth, and the one before that I played Automaton. So it's time for some Decay to switch it up. I'll play this Control Decay I've been playing with, uh, with, uh, Echoes with. It's been doing pretty well. Um,. Infested Husk and Pack Husk are really nice additions to Control Decay. And Unbinding Corpse Theft is still a strong combo. It's, got, it's about to be uh, slightly nerfed to one more cost when the when the new balance uh, patch hits the live server. Franconi, good luck, have fun. I believe Franconi is playing like a Control deck as well. Like a Growth Decay deck. So this should be an interesting matchup. The matchup I wanted, well he's not sure what I'm playing then. <laughs> Oh, he's playing growth. Maybe he's just sacri- Oh no, he was growth decay. I will... I think I'm going to mulligan this hand. I'm not- This is a good hand versus growth. But I'm not convinced he's playing growth. I'm convinced he's playing, uh... Something else. Okay, yeah, this is much better. This is what I want. Exactly what I want, actually. I can go turn two tries and hopefully get a Blight Seed on it, and his control deck won't be able to really catch up then. I think he's playing a control deck. Yeah, I guess it is uh, an advantage for me how, like, a lot of times, like, people can't guess what I'm playing because I switch decks, like, almost every game. Sometimes I switch to the wrong deck, of course. <laughs> yes, awesome. And what is he doing? He's late game growth, maybe? Uh, since he didn't play any early creatures, it looks like I won't need those soul steals. Play the Blight Seed, and things are looking up. I can play two Brain Lices this coming turn. Probably just going to play a Brain Lice on whatever comes down. Or I can play Soul Steal on that. Nope. Well, if I got a good draw there, I can get rid of a Brain Lice and play an Ilmire Witch Doctor. So he's playing... Not totally sure what he's playing. Um, maybe he's playing... Well, he, I saw no ID, so that could mean he's playing the End of Reason kind of decks. Goes for scrolls now, looking for combos. Oh, I think I'll just play the Oblivion Seeker. Witch Doctor is very important. And a Spotted Lynx. Uh, that Spotted Lynx is actually not going to be attacking me this turn. Uh... I'm gonna hold on to that Hulse of Masa, cause he pro. I don't think he runs Rekindled Spirit. I would, I would bet against it. So next turn, I'm actually probably gonna go with a Harvester Soul Steel, anyways, and not play the Hulse of Masa just yet. Harvester Soul Steel on the Spotted Links. I did not have to uh, Soul Steal the Spotted Links this turn because uh, it wasn't going to be able to attack. Skythorn. I don't, I don't like playing against these weird growth decks. Okay. Let's do a Harvester Soul Steal. Get rid of the Languid. Um, do I really want to use 4 damage on, on this dude? 
or they rather hurt an idol. I'm going to hit an idol because I am pretty confident that one of these two attack guys are is going to be able to kill. Uh, is going to be able to kill you instead. I mean, he might do a end of reason thing now though. Let's hope he doesn't do that. I'm not sure if he is doing that kind of deck. I really don't have a clue. There's a lot of possible uh, things he could be doing. Fertile soil. So he's definitely ramping up. So sorry about that. So I think uh, getting Halls of Amasa out is going to be uh, very nice. Yeah, so I, I could destroy this with my two attack guys, so I'm glad I did that. I'll get rid of the unbind for scrolls. I'll just play the halls. And... I guess I'll just stay like this. Because I'm, I want to be able to destroy the Skythorn with this Witch Doctor next turn. And also the Snyder Shambler can go... Uh, Ah, uh, he has rekindled spirit. Darn it. Okay. Rekindled spirit. I don't like running it because it's just this it doesn't do that much. It's still good though. It does destroy my new halls. Uh, let's get rid of the unbind for scrolls. I guess I'm gonna sleep more or no. Should I? Yeah, let's sleep more to see what we get. Blight seed. I think I'm gonna double blight seed this turn. Yeah. Not sure what I'm gonna double blight seed though. Well I'll hit this, I'll destroy it. Do I leave my Witch Doctor open just to get, so I could Blight Seed this guy instead and not the Harvester? Because I can't Blight, blight Seed uh, this guy because he can die easily to like a Quake. I, I really should Blight Seed him. Alright, let's uh... Let's just do a single Blight Seed this turn. I couldn't blight seed anyways, right? Interesting pick. I didn't really have much of a choice. Didn't I mean I, I didn't sacrifice a new a new rue yet or anything. So I think this is gonna survive because the quake frost scale. Oh no! Wait, triple frost scale. Is that what he's doing? <laughs> Be my guess. I'm gonna get husks and stuff. I probably. Okay, next turn, he's going to be able to just destroy me. Um, now is where I can probably get rid of one of the Blight Seeds. I think I'll play a Halls because now I don't think he's going to do anything crazy with that. And I'll Blight Seed you. So we'll see what he's going to be able to do here. I mean, he's probably going to Pudding me, actually. That's what this is Miracle Pudding. Okay. He's playing Miracle Pudding. I hope he doesn't have enough to win the game. I mean, he's gonna. What does he do? Gain resources with the rats now? I mean, if he has like a triple rat king god hand, wouldn't win. 
Oh no, he, okay, good. He doesn't really have the whole combo. Uh, that's awesome. I kind of regret blightseeding this because I would have had big damage from it. It doesn't look like he's going to get the damage off now. Oh, well, I am going to get the damage off these. I'm not going to let that survive. I'm going to go with the languid unbind on that. Languid, and I'll play the other harvester before I do that. So harvester, unbind, and a charisman? Sure. Um, and I will destroy the idol that looks like it needs it the most. Oh, I get more resources. That's nice. And should I play the Vested House just for fun? I am not going to. I can play with a Knucker good enough if I need to. Wait, did I have lethal? No, I didn't. I don't have enough creatures for it. Next turn, I might have lethal. I have to remember, I don't have loyal Darklings in this deck. It's always weird when you feel like you're the control deck, but then you're not. <laughs> I mean, Miracle Floating's not really control deck, it's more of a, just an explosive combo deck. So hopefully I can get a win off soon. Alright, so now he's going to go for a combo, but it's impossible for him to destroy this Harvester. So that's important for me. And I'll be getting scrolls within the Oblivion Seeker. It's possible for him to destroy this Harvester because three units attacking could kill it. But it would take a lot of work. So Necrogun, he gets a million resources. Oh no, does he have. No, he can't have lethal. Yeah, I don't think it's possible for him to have lethal because. Because this, yeah, it's not lethal. It's almost lethal. But does that mean I win the game? Don't think so. I need. I, I want another witch doctor. I need more protection. But that was his big combo, and he probably doesn't have the scrolls to do it again. He doesn't have more rat kings and stuff. Yeah, witch doctor really saves me there because uh, that's another thing uh, to destroy. Okay, so I have two harvesters attacking. Do I have lethal? So that's a dead eye. Oh, combined soul steel. I'd rather have the soul steel. So that's a dead idol, and then I can soul steal one. Close. I can get that to one health. Alright, well, I need to find humans either way. Let's sacrifice the corpse theft for scrolls. See if we can find, and oh, no, I don't think there is another. Sacrifice the corpse theft for scrolls. Okay, so I don't really have too much, but whatever. Let's put down a blight bearer. Um, a a pack husk. An infested husk. And an infested husk. Yeah, we're not... I'm not letting, uh... <laughs> him break through my forces. No thank you. They yeah, probably should have taken out Micro Beast. He could have taken out almost all our creatures. He wouldn't be able to take out uh, one of the Harvesters. He could, he could have taken out this Harvester if he used all his units down here. But he should have done because in the next turn if he just found another uh, God Hand Necker again, he could have done it. Or Crimson Bull. But instead he left this idol at 5 health which as long as I have a Witch Doctor on the board I can pretty easily defend. 
Playing against Pudding is scary. Um, okay, so... I shouldn't have played all that stuff, but now I win the game. Because you survive. GGWP. Alright, you surrender, seeing the Harvester is going to destroy the idol. So, uh, wow. That was a tough match for Spring Coney. Um, getting 11 rating. Awesome. And... I guess that'll be it for today. So, I'm doing a lot of Twitch streaming lately, so make sure you check out the Nerp Streams YouTube channel where I upload all my Twitch uh, VODs, and make sure you follow the Twitch the Twitch channel, uh, Nerp the Ninja, because I'm streaming very often, just random stuff in scrolls. Uh, so, that'll be it. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Keep on scrolling, scrollgers.